Hello and welcome to Ready API. In this video, you will learn how to use the Git integration to store and share your Ready API projects. When you're working with a complex API, you need to involve several QA engineers in the process. Each team member is responsible for a separate aspect of the project, a particular test suite, test case, load test, virtual service, and so on. In this case, all team members should be able to work on the project at the same time and make changes independently. One of the ways of organizing teamwork is to put the project in a shared folder, but this won't allow synchronizing changes effectively. Here's where source control systems come into play. Git is one of the most popular of them. With Git, the project is stored in a remote repository. To work on the project, you clone it to your computer. When you make changes, you push them to the repository, and if your changes conflict with others' changes, you solve conflicts by merging. All the changes are tracked so you can see who made which changes and restore the project to an earlier state if needed. Also, you can use Git with your continuous integration system. For example, you can make Jenkins automatically launch tests when you make changes to the repository. You can work with Git directly from Ready API. For our example, we will imagine that two persons, James and Alyssa, are working on the same Ready API project. Let's act on behalf of James, who wants to store the project to a Git repository. Click here to do that. First, let's convert the project to a composite one. A composite project is stored as a collection of files, rather than a single file. This way, when several people are working on the project simultaneously, it is easier for them to merge changes. Now, let's configure the connection. You will connect to an empty GitHub repository. You can also integrate with GitLab, Bitbucket, or local Git servers. If your GitHub account uses two-factor authentication, generate an API token and specify the token instead of a password. Now we can commit the changes to our local repository. After committing the changes, we can push them to the remote repository on GitHub. As you see, the GitHub repo now contains our project. Now the second user, Alyssa, wants to work on the project too. First, let's obtain the project right from the remote repository. Select an empty folder where the local copy of the repo will be saved, and specify connection settings. As you see, Alyssa now has the project and can work on it in Ready API. She adds a logout test step to the simple login call test case and commits the changes. After committing the changes, Alyssa pushes them to GitHub. Now, let's switch back to James. He has been working on the project at the same time, and added a data source to the integration test case, and committed the changes. Now, when James tries to pull the changes pushed by Alyssa, Git detects merge conflicts. Red API asks you which strategy to use to resolve them. Ours means that local changes will overwrite remote changes. Theirs means that remote changes will overwrite local changes. Recursive means that Ready API will try to combine local and remote changes. As you see, Ready API has successfully pulled remote changes, and now James has both his and Alyssa's changes in his project, and can push them to the repository. However, if the strategy fails, you will have to either resort to an external merge tool or change the strategy. The Git menu contains the most frequently used operations of Git. To access other features of Git, use the Git console that can be called from within Ready API. When you launch the console for the first time, you'll have to point to the Git bash executable on your machine. With console, you can, for example, create and merge branches, reset a branch to an earlier state, or change the URL of the remote repo. Now you know how to work with Git in Ready API. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.